hope everybody doing good out there. Practicing safety, coronavirus, wearing mask. Social distancing. As soon as I choose to start. As soon as I choose to start. Rondo Show podcast. Um, it's lit. I mean, I'm out today, as usual. Uh, it's a beautiful Monday. It's a shitty Monday because it's Monday, but it's Monday. It's a Monday, a fun day. Um, look, man. Rondo the Kid. New song coming out. New merch came out, and more coming out. We got the crisis phone cases, and uh, I'm about to make some beanies right now. Uh, Rondo the Kid beanie. We about to make some more hoodies. Uh, so rondothekid.com slash shop. Uh, yeah, man, get you some shit, man. If you if you subscribe to all my shit, you show me all my sh- all the shit you. Fucking subscribe to my nigga. I will give you a twenty percent discount. How about that? Just just off the strength. So just DM me at Ronald the Kid, wherever the fuck. But you know where my handles are by now. If you fucking watching this. So uh, yeah, man. Episode ten. Let's get it started. I watched Donnell Rollins get called a fucking narcissist. I watched Joe Buttons have to call himself a narcissist because he knows just the ecosystem. 
when you are God and you do all you do is for the people, you have to be about yourself 100% because ain't nobody else going to be for you. I already said this shit on my podcast, bro. So it was crazy watching Javanta have this crazy ass attitude towards this nigga on that joint. It was wild as shit. It was just like, I don't know how she has a job still on that shit. That's why I know that nigga down there is a different nigga, like, with love. Like, because I got to evolve to that shit, bro. Like, all the shit I went through with my podcast, I would never let that shit go down. I mean, he a real nigga, though. This shit's crazy, bro. I was watching that episode, bro. I was like, what the fuck, man? I was like, I was really fucked up, bro. That shit had me thinking, like, black women must really hate black men. She on that joint talking about her shit, yada, yada. And I was really like, yo, she sound like somebody who is sick of this nigga, hates this nigga. And at this point, she just, she knows she need him, so she ain't trying to fuck that up. It was just crazy. I, I mean, I don't know their relationship, but... What I saw was shit that I've been through. And I was just like, yo, this shit wild as fuck. And I was so glad that he aired that shit out and he wasn't going like that. I was like, yo, Donnell, do not do not simp out. Do not let her, do not accept that. Like, and then it, I, t- I said it to myself. I said, it's dangerous when you start throwing around bipolar. Like, you don't just call somebody bipolar, bro. That's fucked up, bro. You don't just call somebody anything that you wanna, that you feel and you think you don't you don't know if you even had the proper knowledge or the definition of the shit that you diagnosed somebody with. You ain't no fucking doctor, bro. But when you do that shit, that that fuck shit up. You know, people treat people a certain way when they it's out of ignorance. So when you're dealing with ignorance, I'm like, everybody don't need a microphone. That's the conclusion I came to watching that episode. I was like, why does she even have a microphone, bro? Because she's speaking from a place of just hurtful energy and it's negative. It's not it's not peaceful. This nigga tried to make it in love, try to make it happiness. That shit ain't work. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a, it's a sad situation, but uh, hopefully people got out over here. It was great content. They're supposed to do that. They're supposed to air that. I'm glad they aired that. You know what I mean? You're supposed to run that shit how you run it. I mean, these heat, heat rashes fucking my arm up. But uh, yeah, man. Feel your pain, man. I feel the pain, man. Somebody gotta tell me what it is with a black woman that got her so angry. Besides the obvious, we know the obvious, but when you could try love, my nigga, and you know it works, it's like, it's like we gotta be the bigger person so that you can be crazy. We can't be crazy. You know, we can't act wild. We wild out. This is the issue. And I understand that's true, because I'm a man. It's different when I wild out. When I wild out shit, actually, I can make shit shake. Say that, and it's like, hey, what are you trying to say? Women have no power? <laughs> Manipulation and control. She wants to show you down there. That's all I saw. I saw somebody who want to control you, so they want to they wanna take away the parts of you that make shit happen. Because of the parts that it hurts them, but when the reality is, you love when it makes shit happen. Like I went through this, some people fall, people will fall in love with you, and then see things about you that they don't necessarily like. So they fall in love with you, but they have with intentions to change you. See what I'm saying? They feel like if they just tweet you a certain few ways, you'll be better. You'll be perfect. So they just stick around. Just start gnawing on you and trying to manipulate you into being some, some, some undertone version of yourself. Refute, 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 man. You gotta get the fuck out of that shit, bro. I ain't with none of it. More peace to the black man, man. Spread love, man. Everybody, for real, to just human beings. But you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta look out for me. How this shit go, bro? Somebody waited two hours. Put some fucking chicken to deep frost itself. Just for us to go get some more chicken. 
same motherfucker, I believe, is hungry for the goddamn chicken. Looks like I can't cook. Who knows? Who knows what the issue is? I know, I know, I know. Put your mask on. Coronavirus. The shit is real. So you lost your goddamn phone. Not losing mine. What? So what we getting chicken and The same one. You know how to make rice? You don't know how to make rice. No. I only know how to make certain rice. Well, the rice, I fuck it up. What kind of rice do you know how to make? I don't know. It's a weird kind. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes itself if you get what I'm saying <laughs> it's a special kind it's a special it's a different kind that's it you good yeah this episode the next morning so if you can tell I look fucking crazy I promise you. But I got taste. And I got stunned. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, I thought you was yeah was the one for me. Yeah, yeah, I thought you was yeah yeah the one for me. Yeah, I thought you was yeah was the one for me. Yeah, I thought you was yeah was the one for me. Girl, I thought you was yeah yeah the one for me. Girl, I thought you was yeah was the one for me. Man, I thought you. business man saw so this episode is just me minding my business mm-hmm. had some company last night it was amazing made dinner it was amazing uh, I don't know if she liked my cooking or not we'll find out one of these days but uh, nah, man, I just been like, uh, don't you hate when a job gives you a raise, but then they take all your hours? See, as a CEO and a businessman, I love that shit. <laughs> Something like that's some genius shit. You know what I mean, you better get your money. You know what I mean? See, but when I'm not the CEO of the company that I'm talking about. No complaints. Working for DoorDash is so dope. But, damn. They finesse. I know they finesse. They finesse. What the, what the fuck else can I say? And what really can Look what I see. One, two. Make shit look good. So that shit look fun.